Travel is back and cruising can take you to that warm weather you long for right now. Our travel expert, Sarah Dan, does she offer some travel tips and trends for this time of year? Good to see you, my dear. Thanks so much for having me back. Well, you know, people are longing uh, for some warm weather, Sarah, <laughs> right now. Definitely. What do you suggest? Okay, so first of all, why don't we just go ahead and dream a little bit, get inspired. <laughs> now, if you can make it happen, by the way, January, February is a great off-season time to travel. Now, if you want to think a little bit bigger internationally, Paris, arguably always a really good idea, but right now especially, you can get some really great deals. Um, but of course, if you want a taste of summer, you can always head south of the equator. Places like Buenos Aires, Melbourne, Australia, Cape Town. Um, again, all of these are places that if you can finagle a longer trip, they're definitely ideal. But domestically, San Diego, the Florida Keys, Savannah, Georgia for warmer or at least more mild weather, um, or even Sedona, Arizona as well too, if you want to get outdoors. Oh, beautiful spots. Well, you know, it's been so long since cruising was a thing and it's back. So is that a deal? Is that a good suggestion? Oh, absolutely. So here's the thing. Um, right now, especially with weather being so favorable in the Caribbean, a lot of the major cruise lines are actually sailing through um, that warm part of the world. And what does this mean for you? Basically, with more ships, this means that there are more cabins to fill. So right now is really a great time to snag a deal, get someplace where it's much warmer weather. I actually was just on the Azamar onward right before the holidays. And I have to say, it was so warm. Wonderful to go to all of these different islands, unpack once, which was wonderful. And they have a lot of special shore excursions. You've got great food on board. So really, cruising is something not to be overlooked. Well, for people who haven't done it before, maybe dreamed of it, as you mentioned, what are yeah. some of the benefits? Yeah, well, first of all, if you've never cruised before, I say start with a shorter cruise. I did that myself. I started with a three-day cruise, and now I've definitely gone on longer ones. <laughs> um, but some benefits, great opportunity to visit remote places that um, might be hard to reach because, again, you're on the ship, so then you can just go to all of these different places. Also, the travel time in between destinations, you can actually relax as opposed to maybe going through an airport and all of that. This way, you can actually relax on the ship. It's also so much more than eating and drinking. There's a lot of enrichment activities, um, great shows, things like that. And then ultimately, this is a big one. A lot of people don't talk about if you have food restrictions, this is a great way to travel because almost across the board, all cruises are known for being very accommodating if you've got any sort of food restrictions. Well, that's good to hear for sure because so many yeah. people really do. Now, yeah. let's, let's find some deals right here because I know that it's across the board. There are all, all kinds of choices. Oh, totally across the board. So um, if you want to get some deals, number one, I would always say work with a travel advisor. Perks of that, they can actually get you onboard credits um, and they can get you a lot of basic add-ons. So that's always something that you should definitely take into consideration. Another thing, and if you're an avid cruiser, you probably know this, book your next cruise while you're on a cruise. <laughs> um, <laughs> so long as it's with the same company, a lot of cruise companies will offer discounts 10%, even more if you book a few future cruise while you're currently sailing. Um, look for sailings that end up in a different place than when they started. These are sometimes called repositioning cruises. It makes it a little bit maybe uh, more adventurous, you know, if you're going to be flying back from a different location. But um, those are really good to look for. And then the final basic rule of thumb, if school Schools are out, cruise prices are high. So if school is in, that's a good time for you to hop on a cruise. So now's the time to go. Thank you, Sarah, as always. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. See you soon. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.